Welcome back to the channel, everybody. As always, my name is David. For those of you that don't know, I am a licensed architect, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing and reacting to Architectural Digest's recent tour of Travis Barker's home in Calabasas, California that he shares with Kourtney Kardashian. Hey, what's up, AD? I'm Travis Barker. We're in Calabasas, California. Welcome to my home. I already like the approach. It's like a Mediterranean style home. A very nice grotto, backyard pool. And it looks already like the furniture and the decor is very simple. It's kept very simple and which is very nice. Okay, so this is my living room. The vibe of this room and my house really was just like zen. And I come home from long tours or long nights at the studio, just a place to rest my head. And this room is also filled with some of my favorite artists. I already like the way that this living room is designed. It's very simplistic and it lends itself to a more modern luxury. Gone are the days of what you think of as a lot of marble, white walls, bright lights, that kind of stuff. The stuff you would see on a show like Selling Sunset. Modern luxury is moving towards a simplistic sense of style, more natural materials or a more subdued color palette with more earth tones involved. I love that he's taking the time to fill the home with art that is actually important to himself and not just something that somebody else has told him that he needs to be hanging on the wall, but rather it's it plays some role in a sense of space for him, but also it harkens back to something that he's passionate about. This used to have a wall with windows and Waldo Fernandez decided to knock it down and just create doors that open. So just doing a quick little search of Waldo Fernandez, uh, an interior designer that I've never heard of. It looks like he's one of AD's top 100 interior designers, as well as a celebrity decorator. And just a quick search, it seems like he's done a lot of work for the Kardashians before, so that's probably how he got hooked up with them. But he's pretty popular with almost 80,000 followers on Instagram. And I like the fact that he opened up this space. Instead of separating the room with a wall of windows and basically a picture framing your view to the exterior, he's allowing you to walk out into that and actually experience that space, bringing the inside to the outside. So I bought this house about 16 years ago. When I bought it, the way it was designed wasn't my favorite, but my kids learned how to ride bikes in this house. They skateboarded through this long hallway that you'll see later. The one thing I like that Travis just mentioned here is that he's had this house for 16 years, something that a lot of celebrities don't do. They mostly trade over very quickly. And he's mentioning how his kids used to ride their skateboards and bikes up and down these hallways. It means that this house is actually getting used and it's not a showpiece like a lot of celebrity homes. I just decided to remodel my entire home instead of a couple rooms. I'm gonna stop the video right there and I wanna point out how his designer, Waldo, actually took advantage of a fireplace and what usually stands out in the room, he has a way of making this fall into the wayside. It doesn't become the most prominent element in the space, but it's you're still aware of it while it's there because of what he's done with the fire brick on the inside, making that black, but also the hearth itself. Instead of having a, a massive slab of granite or stone, he's actually allowed that to be subdued by plastering it white and tying it in with the bookshelves that are around it. And I left on tour and I literally gave him full control. It was the most amazing experience to come back a year later. He said, you need to stop coming by. You need to stop always checking on it because I want you to come a few days before you move in and just see it and be in awe. I'm also gonna mention right here that when you work with a designer, with an architect on a home, a remodel or a new construction, it's imperative that you are on the same page as the designer. You can't just allow your designer free reign unless you have a implicit sense of trust with them and you know their style, you know exactly what they're going to do. A lot of architects or designers don't carry with them a specific style. Rather, they get to know you, who you are, and they bring that out through conversation, through understanding how your family uses a home. If you eliminate that process, you also open yourself up to a level of surprise where you're not going to be sure what you are getting and you might not be happy with it. In my practice, I like to make sure that everybody's on the same page. We work through the design together so that when you're at the end of the process, there's no surprises and you're truly happy with what you're getting.
This is our formal dining room. With how much I work, how much Courtney works, and my kids with school and everything, we like to sit down on Sundays, just talk and put our phones away. I'm gonna reiterate how modern architecture and modern luxury style has changed completely. And this is a case in point. It's very minimalistic, less is more, as Mies van der Rohe once said, and it's calming, it's a soft color palette, it's a soft material palette, and it just feels much more welcoming. It feels like you could actually live there. So right here we're seeing a complete 180 from what we were seeing before in the other parts of the home. Now we have extreme contrast between color and material palette. We continue to move through the space. The camera angle is switched to a point where our natural light from the sun is coming in over the camera's shoulder and it's shining out onto all of our cabinets. And it's revealing a contrast in our cabinets, a vertical line almost, which lends itself to what seems to be a modern farmhouse style. So now I'm getting a lot of sense of different elements going on in this space. It has an art deco appeal when you first walk into the space with this black and white and our curvature all over. And now we're seeing these vertical slats almost. And it's starting to feel as if it doesn't quite jive. What he's done here can, but I think the color palette itself is what's separating this. If it was a more subdued color palette, I think it would really work well and especially tie with the rest of the house well. I love the lighting and I love that it's like kind of industrial and I love this like wooden posts. I love that it just looks like old. And My aesthetic would be like minimal. I just like minimal. I don't like when people put a bunch of things everywhere. Everything looks like cabinets, obviously in the fridge and the freezer are here. So I like very like clean space because it allows me to think and doesn't like crowd my vibe. Yeah, and here again, he has another indoor outdoor space that that one truly draws you out to the pool, which I think is phenomenal. We spend holidays here. Like we actually spent New Year's Eve here and it was so fun. We just played games, put together like a 1500 piece puzzle, which took days to finish, but it was a lot of fun. We watched like the ball drop, watched my performance that was pre-filmed. It was pretty cool. Again, another fireplace that the hearth itself has been plastered white so that it helps die into the space. So it doesn't stand out at you, grab your attention. And the firebox is black and it just it lends itself to a sense of feeling of more modern luxury like the rest of the house he's trying to do but it also it dies into the back and it's only called to attention when you're using the fire as you can see here so as we move into this space across the hall it's a game room kind of a lounge vibe and Waldo started to pull his design aesthetic from the rest of the house and apply it into this space as well. I really like that. I also like that he tied elements that were used in the kitchen design into the bar design in this space as well. It really starts to sew a full connection of the design intent throughout the house. And that's key when you're picking a designer is you pay attention to those little things. You wanna make sure that everything has a, a unique connection and it's tied together. All right, so this is my home studio. During quarantine, I built this. I did all my recording remotely from here. Wrote like Bloody Valentine here, wrote most of Jaden's album here, played on everybody's album here from like an electronic drum kit. So headed over to his recording studio, you do see a tie-in with the Live Edge furniture. He does have one of those Live Edge coffee tables there for his sofa. And I'm sure that Travis did a lot of this kind of design help at least because when you're a musician like this it's important that you're getting the right kind of sound and you can see a lot of those acoustic paneling all around the space and I believe he said he's done some recording here too so it's probably very important for him to have hands-on design help with this space at least. So we head over to his movie theater here and it kind of feels like an afterthought I'm not gonna lie I don't know what the theory was behind this. I love the giant couches though, because you they do feel like you're, you can cuddle up on them or you can crawl in there and just relax while you watch a movie. The, the rest of the space, we have, you know, 
some end tables and some lamps that all kind of just feel like an afterthought. I don't know if Waldo even tackled this room specifically. As you can see, Waldo has tied his design aesthetic, especially for the fireplaces, all together throughout the home so that there are slight differences between them, but the intent is that they all match. The sills for all of the hearths are completely different. The surrounding space, the uh, surrounding hearth is a plastered white and your firebox itself is all black so that you have a similar baseline and then they start to each have their own character as you move throughout the home. Headed out the outside here and I'm a big fan of the design of this outdoor space. Here specifically, in contrast with the bar, we actually do see a lot of what was done in the kitchen tied in here. You can see in the casework for the cabinets that we do have all that vertical line work. We also have a similar stone, probably a, I would imagine a granite with a leather texture as our countertop surfaces. And we have the same hardware tied throughout the house, which actually is a very good idea. It helps tie it all together. As you walk right out there, doesn't that feel so inviting? Like you want to just hang out on the couches, maybe build a fire in the fireplace, hop in the pool. I really like what this designer's done here. And that's going to do it for today's video tour of Travis Parker's home. I think the designer, Waldo Fernandez, did a fantastic job of working on this home and making it feel welcoming and feel like a true home and not just like an over-the-top, overly luxurious L.A. mansion. This home is one of the best that I've seen that Architectural Digest has highlighted, and yet it is still very simple. As the architect Mies van der Rohe once said, less is more, and I think that was fully embodied with this refresh of this home. And that's it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you think there's anything else that I could have covered, let me know in the comment section below. If you're interested in more videos just like this, I have a whole playlist on my channel dedicated to Architectural Digest's home tours of celebrities, as well as my reviews and comments on those homes. And if you're interested in my specific practice of architecture, I'll have my website linked below, along with links to some of the products that I've used today in sketching, my markers, my pens, that kind of stuff. And if you're interested in anything else, about architecture, feel free to subscribe to the channel and let me know that you guys have any questions in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.